it's a cold, chilly Sunday morning. And what's better than to upload a deck review of the Artifice Emerald 2nd Edition? So, let's get into it. This is the front of the box. It says Artifice and it's got some nice ribbons going down. I guess that's ribbons, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a very good looking front. The back um, depicts the back of the cards. The right side says the United States Playing Card Company. The other side says Artifice Playing Cards Performance Coating. The bottom has some standard copyright information. And the top says Ars Est Celare Artem which I'm guessing means it's art to conceal art. So that's a pretty cool uh, saying. And that is a closer look of the top of the box. You will notice that the box has no seal, meaning that it's easy to open. The flaps have two stars on either side and the box inside is white. This is the back design of the cards. Now the second edition uh, includes the introduction of uh, white borders. And now what borders do, it makes it hard to, you know, um, you know, do several magical moves such as passes, etc. Um, or mainly gambling sort of things. It actually provides a cleaner look to the card itself, which uh, definitely highlights the different aspects of the green in this card. Makes the card look more elegant and um, more royal. With this deck, you get two extra cards. One of these cards is a standard illusionist ad card, nothing too special about it. And the other is always nice, a double backer. So these are the two jokers. The two jokers have, I guess it's a magician or a con artist, I'm not too sure. But I don't know if you can see this, but there is a reveal on this card. Very nice. I love reveals, um, especially when um, you know they include the jokers or the box itself. If you guys don't know what a reveal is, it's basically when they include little bits of like, you know, uh, whether it be a card... Uh, a number, something like that, in which that could be utilized in a uh, in a magic trick. So that's always nice. You will notice that in this joker there is an artifice card over there, and that is clearly face down. And that is the reveal of the Ace of Hearts, and that is, uh, you can use that in a trick, which means that you can, you know, do an Erdnays color chain, something of that sort. Overall, these two jokers are very nice, very elegant, um, and it's definitely got a nice little uh, zing factor, makes it look different, and uh, they're, they're really, uh, it's a really nice looking joker. This is the Ace of Spades. Um, so the Artifice deck, well, all three of them, or I think there are a few more now, um, they actually include the same sort of Ace of Spades. And what I love about this Ace of Spades is the, is the ribbons. Now, you see the ribbons, they're, you know, they're kind of curled up, and they kind of make the shape of the spade itself. And, um, you know, they, I have to say, this is one of the most elegant looking Ace of Spades I've seen. Um, and the fact that it's got a really large uh, middle Ace of Spades just includes, you know, it's got another, like, you know, depth to the card. Makes it look extremely nice and um, very uh, distinguishable from uh, other Ace of Spades. You'll notice that the other cards uh, have different uh, shapes. Uh, what I mean by this is that the spades are actually a bit plumper, they're a bit fatter, and um, you know they look a lot different to the usual uh, spade. You will also notice that the face cards um, are actually a lot different, like a lot different. And I love it when cards, uh, when playing cards, actually show a difference in the court cards because this is, you know, one of the more um, it's a it's a classic deck, and um, you know, Theory Eleven um, is known for you know putting a different sort of look to cards and since it's an illusionist deck it's almost like unbelievable like this is so cool like look look at the jacks and the queens and the kings they are a, a lot better than uh, a standard one so as you go through this deck you'll notice that you know these kind of look like arco faces um you know with the plumper diamonds and stuff like that they're not really sharp but they're more fattier um but yeah so as i go through these cards you'll notice you know again court cards um uh, significant changes in the court cards itself um, and now we go into clubs you know you have the different color variations since this is the emerald deck you know you get a bit of green dark green into the cards also a nice little touch 
Um, so as I go through these, the clubs don't look too different because you can't really change clubs that much. Um, but you go through, you got hearts, you know, hearts look fatter. And the court cards uh, have changed using Emerald once again. You will also notice that the pips on the corner are actually smaller. The indexes, they're a lot smaller. Can you see that? So the fact that it's narrow makes it easier to see all the cards during a fan. And this is one of the major um, benefits to getting a deck like this, is that when you're doing fans, everything is visible. So now that we've gone through, you know, how the card looks and stuff, let's go into the handling, one of the more important parts of a deck of cards. As said on the box, uh, this deck has a performance coating. This is different to the uh, standard air cushion finish that is, you know, available on most cards in the market these, these days. But um, I guess the performance coating uh, is a bit different. Um, but the cards are, once again, very nice to handle. Um, so let's have a look at uh, the different uh, handling aspects. In terms of handling, this deck, during spreads, you know, it creates a nice divine looking, um, you know, kind of... You can see all the sides of the cards and because of its coating and its finish, it's a lot easier to spread the cards on the table and uh, it's easier to get even spreads. Now, not only do these cards, you know, work well on the table, but they also work well in the hands. Now, its coating allows for, you know, kind of a sleek finish, allows the cards to be a lot more even during hand spreads and also looks very cool uh, during this. Fanning works very well uh, in terms of this deck as uh, you know you can see all the cards um, very nice even sp uh, fans. As I said before uh, during fans uh, using the fronts of the cards fanning works very well uh, in terms of this deck as uh, you know you can see all the cards um, very nice even sp uh, fans. As I said before uh, during fans uh, using the fronts of the cards you know that these cards you know you can see every single one of the cards except you know in my case I haven't really sp spread it out this much or the spades but still you can see a lot of the other cards um, during the spread almost every single one of these cards you can see except the spades now in terms of shuffling uh, this deck is very nice um, because of its coating you know it's kind of smooth it's easy to push in uh, during a table uh, riffle shuffle in terms of in the hand riffle shuffling uh, this deck is actually also very nice um, the cards are a bit stiff to begin with, um, the stock is, it's decent, but it's a lot, it's actually a bit thick. Um, and this is quite problematic if you're, uh, you know, going to be doing, you know, springs or whatever, because the cards, you know, are, are tough. Um, unlike one of my favorite cards, the Dragonback deck, um, these cards are a lot different in terms of stock. Um, it's a bit thicker, it's a lot harder. That's one negative I have about this deck, uh, if only the stock was a bit thinner you know how thick the card is, you know, I think this deck would be almost perfect. The cards dribble very nicely, uh, whichever dribble you do, if you do, you know, the side dribble or the corner dribble, you know, they work extremely well in either case. So these cards are holding up very nicely. Um, although it's a bit uh, tough, I guess that kind of contributes to the fact that, it, you know, um, it's got a, th a thicker stock. Um, but yeah, that's okay, I guess. Uh, it's a bit more durable uh, because of this. But it's also a very good, uh, very good deck. Um, so the negatives kind of don't outweigh the positives. Um, so in this case, this deck I would highly recommend uh, to anyone, a card collector, a magician, or a, a flourisher. Um, but I would not. I would refrain from doing flourishes with this deck um, because the cards are, you know, a bit sleek. But I guess once you, you know, break them in a bit, they might hold uh, together a lot better. So final thoughts on this deck. This deck is a, it's recommended um, by me, and I recommend that you should get it um, straight away. Uh, it's a second edition Artifice Emerald deck made by Illusionist. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this deck review. I hope I've given you all the insight I could into uh, if you should buy this deck or not. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.